So in patch 1.09, Whips got some buffs. Although it wasn't the highlight of the patch, it's still pretty notable. For example, the first attack speed for Whips was increased, and Whips also got a reduction to their attack recovery time, so... Overall, these buffs are not as big as like the other ones, but it's still something worth checking out. So I'm gonna be doing a whip build. I haven't done a whip build since I did like the lightning ram build or the goat, but I want to try something different. So I am using the magma whip candlestick. I never used it before. I always seen those snake people have it and I you know what, I want to try it. I think this would be very interesting. I never used this candlestick whip before, but it does have an interesting actual word because you know, you've seen this before. And then you run forward, and then you could just keep on holding it. And I think you could get a lot of little like trap scenarios, and it could be pretty funny. I don't think it's definitely like the best. Probably the braids from the the giant, the fire giant, is probably a little better. But I think this will be a lot of fun to use along with all these fire incantations. If you enjoy ideas like this and Elden Ring content, please leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. On to the battles, because yeah, these things are dead. Yeah, they're probably inside. Hello, Hunter. Hey! Uh, wanna go? Ooh. I'm really bad in, uh, timing my rolls for that. Oh. They really want to do their hide and seek. See how big the ambush is. Okay. Then this. No ice. Good friend. <laughs> that should be almost dead? Wow. This thing is pretty slow in the way it winds up, which is very unfortunate. And good match. <laughs> Why did you send off your hunter friend? He was actually gonna destroy me. He was actually doing some good work. Oh. Oh, he just jumped in. Was not expecting to chomp. But I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be really funny. Oh, if I can actually dodge well. Okay, I'm gonna dodge down. Nice. Now I do this. I'm dead. Is that getting too greedy? Okay, I'm just someone behind me. Okay, they ruined their advantage. Night roll! You're not gonna get me. Pro finger die. All right. Oh, careful. Let's go back to where the... Oh. Well then. Not just us two? Oh. Good match. <laughs> well, it didn't exactly work like planned. I... One that just slipped off the map. Uh, I wanna do this. Another one slipped off the map. Okay, it's only right for you to slip off the map too. There's no way. <laughs> there is no way. Wow, I just did more damage than all my hits combined. I need to get hit by a phantom so I don't get bled. Nice.
Oh, we drinking? Oh, that was slick. And then here. Oh, one HP. Wow. Oh, how about you, friend? Oh, right into it. Oh, you have the same thing. I also have it. Oh, Hunter. I am a dead end. Oh, I'm in a dead end. Okay, I'm gonna run in. It's fine. Let me run the other side. How do you get hit by 700 damage? Oh, was it the rat? I wanna pretend I'm going after you. No, let me get the hunter before it hap- Yes. Good match. What hit the, um, the pearl finger? It did like 700 or 400 damage. It wasn't me. It must have been a box rat. Let's go. Oh, hello. Ooh, I'm gonna trap him. Ooh, that worked out great. Let me roll out. Hold up, friend. Well, I'm out of here. Will it hit me? I'm going here. I do this. Nice. And then do this. Come on. Ah, uh, so close. Use your drink. Yeah. Oh, very not worth it. I'm dead. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I knew I was dead. All right into it. Ooh, ow. Change the timing of that. And the game. Hope you have enjoyed the video. This was me using the buffed up whips from patch 1.09. And the whips that I chose to use were the Magmo Whip Candlestick. And I guess they were me. Here are our stats. And this is our equipment. So I tried using whips in this video. I mainly used the one-handed whip and I switched to two whenever I ran out of FP, which was a lot of times. I always forget to change my flask from two blue flasks to three. So in this video, I tried to highlight Sea of Magma from the, the whip I'm using, but it's kind of hard to land in normal situations because again, it starts off really close to you. The wind up does take a little bit to hit. It doesn't have a lot of like poise stance damage. It also doesn't do a lot of damage in general, which is kind of unfortunate. Therefore, the ways to support it is by using the incantations. We have cash lane because one, it does a good amount of damage and you kind of can switch it off from the long range whips. We love our giant fireball. Does a lot of damage. You can charge it, knock people around. Just a very good incantation to have. I like using flame fall upon them because one, it's pretty wide ranging, pretty fast, does decent damage, and it's pretty hard to perfectly draw all of them. And then the one I tried to use a lot, I think it's really funny when it happens, is Burno Flame. Unfortunately, a lot of times I did get hit out of it and it did put me in bad situations because the animation is pretty long and it takes quite a bit of stamina. But when I do this, I charge it all the way, has a lot of those flame pillars, 
and it knocks them up in the air. It goes in pretty random spots, so it's gonna be very hard to dodge. And if they're in the air, this is where like the ideal situation that you see a magma. Unfortunately, sometimes I did this, it still didn't like land me the kill. But again, the wind up is pretty telegraph and pretty slow, so very unfortunate. But overall, I did have a lot of fun. Whenever things like you know worked out, especially with Burnout Flame, it was a lot of fun to get those like situations with Sea of Magma and then using all the different incantations and with the max casting speed it just came out really quick and pretty fluid so lots of fun anyways if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it catch you in the next video